everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is just a short video to compare and contrast a vintage G.I. Joe action figure to its modern counterpart. This modern Hawk figure came from the donation by Larry Laura of modern G.I. Joe figures to the channel, so thank you, Larry, for those. The vintage figure we're looking at today is version 2 of Hawk from 1986. He was G.I. Joe's general. The first version of Hawk was released in 1982 in the first wave of G.I. Joe action figures that year. The first version of Hawk was not a very spectacular figure. It was quite plain. In 1986, we got an improvement. The modern figure we're looking at is called G.I. Joe Hawk. It is the same character, I think that's obvious, uh, but Hawk's name went through a few changes over the years, and because of that, his version numbering is a little mixed up. I don't want to get into all that today. I've already done a review for the 1986 Hawk, but let's look at the highlights of the figure. Uh, he did come with a black pistol uh, and a helmet that I always thought didn't fit very well on his head, uh, and he had a green backpack. Of course, we've got that classic brown leather jacket uh, and camouflage pants. I also think it's worth noting that version 2 of Hawk has brown hair. The first version had blonde hair. The hair color was changed without explanation, and I never liked that change. Uh, so that's version 2 of Hawk from 1986. The 2008 G.I. Joe Hawk is obviously an attempt to update that classic look of version 2, uh, but of course give it some modern articulation and greater detail. And G.I. Joe Hawk uh, from 2008 comes with mostly the same accessories as the original. The 2008 figure came with a figure stand that actually says codename G.I. Joe Hawk on it. Uh, figures back in 1986 did not come with figure stands. There are a couple problems I've always had with the 1986 Hawk. First of all, I do really like his pistol, but there's no way to holster it. He does have a holster sculpt it onto the leg. It's quite thick, but you cannot holster the pistol in it. Also, he really has two pistols. He has an accessory, then he has a pistol sculpted onto the chest, but that one you can't use. He can only use one of them. In addition to that, I never liked the way the helmet rested on the head. Uh, the head has some hair sculpted on it, and so the helmet rests, I think, a little high on the head. Um, I feel like it should come down lower than that. It's a nice looking helmet, well sculpted, but I just don't think it looks good on the figure. The 2008 G.I. Joe Hawk fixes at least a couple of those problems. First of all, you can now finally put General Hawk's pistol in a holster. This version of Hawk comes with a functional holster on his hip, and that is fantastic. This is something that modern figures unquestionably do better than most vintage figures. Another thing the modern figures tend to do better than the vintage figures is the fine details. On the vintage figures, a lot of those small details kind of just had to be suggested. But on the modern figure, for example, you can read that name tag. It says Abernathy. He has a bunch of additional battle ribbons and stuff like that on his jacket. Unfortunately, although he has that second pistol, it is still not removable. He cannot use it. It's still only decorative. The helmet has a very nice sculpt. It has a black paint application on the goggles. It is removable, and it fits better on the head than and the vintage figure. I think that looks much nicer. The modern figure, like the vintage figure, has brown hair, and I understand why they did that. They were trying to make a modern version of this particular vintage figure, and that vintage figure has brown hair, but I will always see Hawk as having blonde hair, because that's what he looked like in the comic book when I was first introduced to the character. I do kind of like what they did with the modern backpack. It has basically the same details as the vintage backpack. It's just a bit crisper, and I think I like the color better. That darker green is nice. Generally speaking, no pun intended, modern figures do have more articulation than the vintage figures. I think it's arguable whether that's better articulation, but they definitely have more articulation. And there's no question that the modern figures look good. So, although I am a vintage guy, and I always will be, I will always prefer the vintage figures over the modern, I do try to give the modern Modern figures their credit where it's due. The 2008 version is a pretty faithful update of the 1986 Hawk.
Hawk. It's not perfect, but there's a lot to like about it. That was just a quick look at the 1986 Hawk and the 2008 modern equivalent. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you again, Larry, for the donation of the modern G.I. Joe figures. I'd like to do more of these as time permits. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with a vintage G.I. Joe toy review in the near future. I'll see you then.